guys, Tay Marie here. We have a really exciting video today. We're going to be transforming this boring slab door into something that looks much more modern using some frames I picked up from the dollar store and some white paint. With that said, everything I show you today you can do with your door still hanging on the hinges. I'm gonna be removing mine because we're doing the whole bathroom remodel and I need to remove it anyway. With that said, let's get started. Pardon the absolute disaster that this hallway is, but we have the door off, so I'm gonna bring it downstairs and let's get started. gonna want to keep sanding the door until that shininess is gone and you're left with this matte dull finish now we're gonna just grab a mildly damp cloth and we're just gonna get rid of all this extra dust here and then we're gonna start the fun stuff so while the door is drying I'm just gonna walk you through what we're gonna do next so I picked up these frames from my local dollar store. The biggest frames they had were 11 by 14, so those are the ones I grabbed. The color does not matter since we're gonna be painting the door. So we're gonna start off by removing the backing of these frames, as well as the plastic or glass that comes with it, because all we want is the actual trim of the frame, because that's what we're gonna be using to make our molding. And then we're gonna paint over the whole thing. So I'm gonna start by unwrapping these, removing the back and the glass of the plastic, and then we'll get started. This is such a good project for sprucing up any type of door, including closet doors. And this project can be complete with so many different types of materials, including just normal trim from any home improvement store. I decided to go with frames because the corners are already cut for me and they're perfect, which I love. And yes, I could have gone and picked up frames from anywhere, including Michael's, but I figured I would just go with the budget-friendly alternative and pick up frames from the dollar store. Especially with wood being as expensive as it is right now, this was just a really good budget-friendly alternative and I'm just so excited to share this project with you guys. If your frame has these little tabs that were holding the back and the glass in, just take them and then bend them back and forth and usually after like five or six bends, it will just snap right off. The possibilities are absolutely endless. This is the part of this project where you can be as creative as you want. Here I'm just going to be doing more of a standard paneling where you have a larger square up at the top and a smaller square down at the bottom with a space between the two, right where the doorknob is going to go. But like I said, the possibilities are endless, so just have fun with it. Once you have your draft sketched down, I would recommend taking some painter's tape and then just lining it up right against your lines. That way it's a little bit more visible and easier to see. And it's a really good guide to use as a stencil later when you're going to glue your frames down. We're almost at the point where we can cut our frames. 
but before we do that, we want to dry fit them in the stencil that we just created. That way we can mark the frames and we can cut them to the correct size. Also, if you have any holes in your door like we have, there used to be a towel hook here. You can grab any type of wood putty or wood filler and just fill those in. That way when you paint your door, you won't have those. So to cut the frames, I'm going to be using my speed square and this little mini hacksaw. You can essentially use anything that cuts things. Just be careful not to hurt yourself, okay? So what I'm going to do is I pre-marked the cut lines where I want to cut. And to make sure I'm making a nice straight cut, I'm going to put the trim up against my speed square, nice and snug, move it down to where I want the cut to be. And then I'm going to take my hacksaw and cut right through that frame. There we go, we have a nice clean cut. So we have all of our pieces cut to size now, and we're gonna be using the painter's tape almost like a stencil, and we're going to be gluing these down. Today I'm gonna be using liquid nails simply because I already have it here, but wood glue would work totally fine. I'm pretty sure you can even get wood glue from the dollar store. So we're just gonna put a small bead on the door, and then we're gonna just gently push these into place making sure that they're lined up in our stencil. And then we're gonna let this dry overnight. And then tomorrow morning, I will paint the door. So we have our adhesive on. Any of this excess glue or adhesive is totally fine and it will be removed when we remove the painter's tape. That's another pro of having the painter's tape. Not only is it a stencil, but it also will help us clean up around those edges before we paint. And then you just wanna make sure you go over any of the gaps and make sure that they're nice and smooth. It's okay if they don't look pretty since we're going to be painting over this, but you want them to be nice and smooth. After the paint's on them, it can kind of camouflage those little joints. But this is our door right now, and we're gonna let it sit here overnight and dry. Okay guys, we're back at it this morning. I apologize for any noise. I have my boyfriend outside sanding the door because we need to repaint that as well. But today we're going to be ripping off the painter's tape. And for this project, I'm only gonna be painting one side of the door since all the other doors upstairs are like a natural wood color, but I'm excited to get to it. This step is completely optional and I'm sure your door will turn out fantastic either way. However, we just have so much of this stuff sitting around from all the projects we've been doing. Plus, with this being a bathroom door, I figured the caulking might help the door hold up to the high humidity from the bathroom.
guys, I brought the door up to the bathroom. It's in the hall, as you can see. I'm gonna be putting new flat black hinges as well as a flat black doorknob on it. So let's get to it. Well, there you have it guys. That's how you modernize a door using some white paint and some frames from the dollar store. Let me know what you guys think of the door and if you wanna see the rest of this whole bathroom remodel, hit that subscribe button. Till next time guys, bye.